My name is Hira Lawalia. I have a PhD in materials and corrosion engineering. My company is Material Selection Resources and our goal is to provide superior materials and corrosion consulting services to our clients. So initially, when I first came across the tent line technology, I thought this was a coating, very similar to many other coatings that other companies have tried to uh, introduce into the marketplace. And I was very skeptical if this coating had the right corrosion, appropriate corrosion resistance, the right ruggedness for many of the applications and very aggressive chemicals that my clients deal with. The next part of the testing was to see the effect of localized deformation and uniform deformation. So in this particular test, I asked Tantaline Company to provide me coupons like these over here. And after we were provided with these coupons, we did some Rockwell hardness testing and Brunel hardness testing indentations on the coupon surfaces. This provided localized stress on the surface. After completing that particular hardness indentation, we bend the coupons into a U-shape. By bending the coupons into a U-shape as seen over here, we introduce approximately 5% plastic strain in on the surface. And if the surface was to be subjected to hydrochloric acid and maintain its corrosion resistance, I felt this would be very impressive and would go a long way in me recommending this to my clients. So we did this on large number of samples, as you can see here. And one of the things we did during the testing was we were not very careful deliberately in doing the bends. So we actually deliberately scratched the surfaces and did not take any precautions. I felt this was important because in real applications it is possible that the surface layer would be scratched. After do preparing the samples, we weighed the samples initially and then expose them to hydrochloric acid at 37% concentration for 24 hours. After we had completed our test, not only were my lab technicians surprised, but I was very surprised too. The tantalum was not affected at all. The localized deformation and the uniform deformation had no effect on the corrosion resistance. So I was very impressed that in the testing I conducted, in this program, the tent line had essentially zero corrosion rate. After doing the testing, I was very surprised. In fact, I cross-sectioned through some of the indentations and noticed that the surface layer actually deforms with the substrate material. This was a very impressive property of the tent line surface alloy layer. This is very different from some of the coatings that I've tested previously for many applications. The robustness, ruggedness, and the characteristics of it being de deforming together with the substrate material is a key component of its success. If you are not familiar with a tantaline alloy surface layer, the first thing that you need to realize is that it is not a coating system. Okay, it is actually a formation of ten tantalum molecules absorbed on the surface of the substrate material, in this case stainless steel. It is very rugged, very robust, and deforms with the substrate material. In the testing that we have conducted here at Material Selection Resources, we feel very confident that tantaline surface layer will perform well in many applications, especially in very harsh, acidic, type of applications. So for a new person who is not familiar with this technology, I would say that you need to be confident that this is not a coating system and the corrosion resistance is going to be equivalent to pure tantalum.